The Cleveland Police Department is now responding to a wrongful death lawsuit by blaming a 12-year-old boy for his own death. Tamir Rice was playing with a pellet gun. You may remember this back in November. started around 9 o'clock last night with that traffic stop on Larpender Avenue in Felton Heights. That's where an officer opened fire on Philando Castile as he sat in the passenger seat of a car driven by his girlfriend with a child in the back. New tonight, a deadly shooting in Sanford. Police have the gun. They've got the shooter. But they have not arrested him. And as Fox 35's Keith Landry tells us, the dead man's grieving family wants to know why not. There is growing outrage tonight after an unarmed African-American teenager was shot and killed by police in the St. Louis suburb of Ferguson, Missouri. But there are conflicting reports about what led up to the shooting. NBC's John Yang has the details. A minor traffic violation and with death in a Texas jail cell. Tonight, fresh controversy as newly released dash cam footage shows a tense interaction between Sandra Bland and a police officer. Good evening, a deadly struggle between police and Louisiana and the man they were trying to arrest. Captured on video and shared around the world today is provoking questions and outrage. Happening now, breaking news, violent protests, uh, running street battles, breaking out of Baltimore after the funeral for Freddie Gray. Rioters melting police with rocks and smashing a squad car. At least seven police officers are now down. They're wounded.